We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. specifically linebackers keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Just beating the play clock is gone. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score so Shot at it now as this one's in the air. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. offense ready to kick off their next drive. Now remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes partner I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say oh, hey you'll get them next time. Hey don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. 
First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And four at the 40-yard line. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Toss left to Montgomery. And some room to maneuver. But he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 31 yards there and a first down. Well, they put it all together on that one. Good vision, good blocking. A toss play to the left. How do you toss it? Yeah, a toss is the underhand kind of egg toss. The pitch is kind of if you're running the option, you pitch it end over end, correct? Yeah, I, I you're, agree you're totally. The guy. You're I the agree guy. totally. And in the NFL, we'll see a lot more tosses than pitches because if you're pitching it, you might lose your quarterback. <laughs> Absolutely. They'll try to run wide side with Montgomery. Down at the 25. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now a second and six. Goff now looks to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He put that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help set points on the board when this drive is over. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Goff going to shift him around. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down by a couple of yards as they get five there on fourth and three. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. The middle. It's Montgomery. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. This is second and eight. Golf. And it's caught. Touchdown. Jared Golf to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. 
and obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. On play action, they'll throw to the sideline and incomplete. Complete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. They go play action with Hertz on the move to his left. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Throwing his hurts. Over the middle complete. That's Brown. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Play action. Here's Hurts. Open man. That's Devontae Smith. And he goes down, but not before getting his inside the 25. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. go here with a former Lion, it's DeAndre Swift. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. They'll roll him out, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That sack courtesy of Jack Campbell. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. And that is no good. I oh, hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. They right, try the 50-yarder and miss it, and now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Taken down at the 42. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Back to Montgomery on second down. And very little daylight there. They'll get a couple up to the 44. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, it's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Here's third and six. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff rolling to his right. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. Picked by the former Lion, Darius Slay. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. But first down hurts. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Here's Hertz to throw. This is caught. It's Brown. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's Swift, and they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, 
but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up, it's seven. of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal Hurt sets up to throw it over the middle and it's incomplete I really like what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far even backed up late they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. started with great field position is facing fourth down so Hertz is off and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal this is a fairly straightforward 22 yard short attempt the kick by Elliott is good and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7 so they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed block three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's got room. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Now, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second down, here's Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Elliot Good with a PAT, and his guys will take a 10 point lead.
touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. On second down, here's Gibbs. And he'll get this up to about the 40. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. As the clock is stopped with 33 seconds to go in the first half. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. over out of bounds a big one there on third down they hit for 30 yards uh, so often when we're watching a football game we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows and this one is no different and sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit and they get one right there that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for so the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now gone. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Reynolds. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Goff. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And now fall incomplete. This is a half with not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Here's second and ten. There's Gaw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And in for the Lions touchdown. David Montgomery as the first half is winding down. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Lions, 14. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A field goal, the difference. 17 14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. the chains as they began this drive I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead would they continue to try and push the ball downfield well after one play it appears that the answer is yes it took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down they will run straight ahead with Swift. And a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 16 more on that one and another first down. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is. It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play calling is working very well for them right now. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Once again it's Swift. Play three of the drive not is successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They run out of the gun with Swift. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Help. 
First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Swift going to try up the middle. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Would have been a decently long field goal, 51 yards from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. As a defender, I always found the slant route extremely difficult to cover unless you're able to jump on top of it early because once he gets his hands on the ball, he's at full speed going away from you. It, just, it all happens in the blink of an eye, doesn't it? It really does. The timing is so important. That ball's got to be out of the hands of the quarterback and to the receiver like that. And if it is, you often get a very successful play. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. They'll get that one out quickly to Brown. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. He'll look to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end gunner. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Hey, 73, 73. Back to the running game with Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jam, jam, jam. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. For the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. 
They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second down and eight. Play action. It's gone. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Nicobe Dean gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. On third down they go Montgomery. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. On first down, gone. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Now a give running left with Montgomery. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second and nine. Now golf. That's caught by Montgomery. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And give him nine yards on the second down screen play. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you get to come hard when you see him drop back to throw. So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good play. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it.
Running for it, Montgomery. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning, and we'll be back. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. That will be their third and final stoppage as they'll only have the two-minute warning now remaining. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here comes Swift. There'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Defensively, they know the situation. They stacked the line. Heck, that was a goal line set right there. And it's the right play for them, exactly what they have to do. They want to take away every gap, every crack, and make sure no one can get through it. But here's the deal, though. You've worked on offense all year long about these types of defensive fronts. If they can penetrate it at all, your runner has a chance to go a yeah, long I was gonna say, way could, behind It could him. be a house call. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. On the return is Williams. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Lions will take over. This is first and ten. To Montgomery to begin the drive. But that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. Off play action. Here's golf. That is caught by Laporta. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Thank you. 
Now it's golf. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, and that is incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll try again here, second and 10. Goff now to throw. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Well, there's still hope, but it's dwindling fast. No timeouts left. They need two scores still. First and 10 here. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now gone. throw is going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise. On their feet for third down. Goff. And that is incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage. Tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. Badgley's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven point game. So the field goal means we're back to a one-score game, but with no timeouts left, I think this has to be an onside kick. I like your analysis there, partner. I think you're right. You need the ball back. That's probably your only avenue. So just over 90 seconds to play, and this would figure to be about as critical as it gets here. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just right, take right, it, right, kneel, right. and call it a day. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Here's a head off to Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. Down to an ego's hurts, and that is going to be that. 
Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, no, offsides, no, no, no. easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. So flying eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.